No, Dad. No, Dad, you don't understand. That's not it at all. I, I actually enjoy playing bingo. I just don't want to... I don't want to schedule bingo. I don't want to see the word bingo in my date book on Saturday. Saturday night, bingo. You know what I'm saying? Not yet. Ben? Yeah? Don't get Fruit Loops on my bed, please. Sorry. I would like you to, uh, to do me a favor. Bring Grandpa to the urologist today. Would you do that for me? To the... To the what? To the urologist. The urologist? The urologist. Would you do that for oh, me? Come on, Dad. You, you can't just spring this kind of thing on me at the last minute. You know, I, I have a life, and I've got things to do today. Uh, well, Ben, that's why they invented the VCR. Oh, that's very funny. Now, what do you have to do today? Well, um, I have to uh, return some calls. Mm -hmm. I have to get my resume into ship shape. Hey, you can take my car. I have to uh, bring Grandpa to the urologist. Thanks, Ben. Be... I appreciate it. Believe me. I don't have to go in there with him, do I? No, but remind him to put his pants back on. Right, because last time, is there a problem? They have to uh, do a cleaning process. Let me let me explain to you what what what's what's involved. They put a tube in. Yeah, into... but. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. Did I? Did I show you the latest picture of my twins? Yeah. You tried. Oh right, right. Yeah, I forgot. You're not into kids. Sorry. It's okay. Doctor Katz's office. Yes, he is. It's your wife. My wife. Can I take this one here? Mm hmm. Hi, honey. Yeah. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Four cans chunky in spring water. Large box honey nut Cheerios. Two Push dozen. That, uh, hold two, on, right hold there, on so a Dr. second. Uh, number two, right there. Uh, Doctor Katz's office. No, no, this isn't the doctor. I'm a, well, I'm a, I'm a patient. You too? Yeah, that's nice. Uh huh. Yeah, well, it sounds like you're doing great, yeah. Do you, like, do you want to leave a message or something? Or can you hold on a second? Sorry, honey. Okay. Variety pack of cereal. Uh-huh. Maple syrup. Mmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I thought there was a whole other thing in the, the thing there. Uh, all right. No, you're right. You're right. I didn't check. Look, I'm sorry. Dozen cran apple juice boxes. Hold, hold on. Dr. Katz's office. No, I didn't abandon you. I didn't. I put you on hold for a second. Take it easy. Look, Mr. look, pal, I'm sorry if Mr. I hurt you, all right? Mr. Romano. Hello. Mr. Romano, the doctor will see you now. Thank God. My three-year-old. I'll tell you what, that's the age to be, though, Doc. Sure. It's a one, wonderful age. I always thought if I could go back in time, I'd want to be a teenager, but you don't get happier than three. I watch my daughter. It's incredible. Yes. The, other day, the other day, she's staring out the car window for 15 minutes with a smile on her face. Just smile. Nonstop smile. I couldn't, mm. I couldn't get over it. Finally, I just turned to her. I said, Alexandra, what are you thinking of? Candy. 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 When's the last time you could daydream about candy? Mm. You ever have that nice a day? Uh, when you have a free moment, can you fill it with candy? No. You can't because you're an adult. There's too many other things now. Oh, who am I? Why am I here? Am I gay? What? What's that lump? There's no room for candy. Well, you're, you're an adult now, Ray. You have responsibilities, you know. You have, uh, you know, you have lumps, I assume. You want one of those? I have to go to Canada next week to work. Have you been to Montreal, Doc? Yeah. Yeah. The French people, they kind of annoy me. Mm. Not that they're annoying, they just won't speak English to you. Right. They're all bilingual and they, they have an attitude with the English. You know what amazed me is I went into a Burger King in Montreal. The Burger King employees are required to be bilingual. Just think about that, Doc. I don't know if you've been to Burger King here in our country. 
They're not even lingual over here. Mm. You have to draw your food. I want a hamburger. 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 I don't want a pie. Put the pie down. I see the pie. I want a hamburger to go. I'm going to go. Here, I'll, I'll draw a little feet on my hamburger. See? It's self-explanatory. You know what I think your problem is, Jonathan? You spend too much time with unhappy people. It's starting to rub off. So you think I should just treat the cheerful? No, you know what I'm saying. That, that would be, Julie, like me telling you that you're spending too much time with thirsty types. No, listen. That's just the way it works. Well, that's, what, that's what I do. I see people who are unhappy. That's how I make my living. Can somebody see you even if they're not, like, depressed? Just Board, they borderline. might need to, yeah. That happens all the time. People come in. People aren't always depressed when they arrive. Like they might need to talk about a particular problem that they're having? Yeah, there are people who come in with a specific problem. I think I'm overqualified in a certain way to treat those people. I think very often what they need is, like, a smart aunt. The, well, a friend of mine told me something, and I just, I think she would really... It would help her a lot if she had somebody to talk to, but... Well, you know what, let me let me give you my number at work, and maybe maybe she can call me, you know, and, and if and she wants to talk about it. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Okay, here, it's, up, right on, it's on the back of my card. Just well, this to, is nice. Just tell her... Tell her this to, is a cute card. Tell her to mention when she calls that, that, um, that she's a friend of yours. Who's this little person on here? What do you mean, the, the cartoon? Yeah. That's supposed to be me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I you don't think it doesn't look like me? Well, what, what's in your hand? That's a pencil in my hand. Oh, yeah. What do you think it was? Um, I don't know. It's just sort of... It looks like a pencil. It looks like a pencil. I'm feeling very feminine right now, Dr. Katz, because I got my period today. Mm. And most of my friends got it when they were 13, so I, I guess I'm a little immature. Um, this germ phobia of yours, wh where do you think that comes from? My mother. She's so neurotic. She puts down toilet paper on the seat, even at our relative's house, at the dinner table. And if that's not crazy, I don't know where else I got it from. No, no, that's crazy. Hey, are you going up? Yeah, I thought I would, since we're on the ground floor. Oh, right, right. Aren't you getting out? No, no, I'll stay, I'll stay in. I'll, I'll ride up with you. How about that? I'm in no hurry. I, I got really nothing planned. Uh, hey, you, you remember me, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm Ben Katz. I I'm said Dr. I remembered. Ka right, Dr. Katz's son, Ben Katz. Yes, I said I remembered. That's who I am! <sighs> you look well, you look good. I should give it like a, a peachy look to you. Peachy? Yeah, you got a good sh shimmer off your skin, like a shine. You're all shiny. Uh, I went to the zoo the other day. That's and fun. I love the monkeys. Aren't they so cute? Uh -huh. And the little giraffes, they're so cute. And my least favorite are the, um, oh, you know, with the little heads, um, the kids. Ah. Those, they're always screaming and... Crapping. Mm. Kids are cute if they belong to your sister and you can leave. But sometimes I take her to Disneyland and I don't like it there at all because I don't like mice. Okay. This is some elevator, huh? This is the slowest elevator I've ever ridden on. Yeah, don't you find though that the. the, the are we stopped? Hey, just think someday uh, this elevator will be mine. I'll own it. Wow. I'll rent it. I won't own it. I'll lease it with an option to buy it. It'll be my elevator, sort of. Hey, have you had lunch? Uh, no. Neither have I. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Why is it so hard to not hear you? Wow, that is uh, not what I was expecting to hear. So you don't, uh, you, you wouldn't want to have lunch then? Is that what you're saying? I mean, because I'm I- I'm in my own private hell. Am I echoing to you? I am in my own private hell. You're not here. 
You know, I get the feeling we're not connecting. I hate dating. Mm-hmm. I am never myself on a date. Mm-hmm. I never eat as much as I want, and I have to speak in that British accent. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, Dr. Katz, but I like it when a man pays mm-hmm. for sex. Oh. <laughs> but I've been getting much more spiritual lately. I, I read the Bible. Mm-hmm. Um, that guy can write. No, Mrs. Liebman. And even if the doctor knew what Wendy wanted for her birthday, he wouldn't be able to tell you. It's called patient confidentiality. Well, it's the law. I'm sorry. All right, bye-bye. Dr. Katz's office. I'm still fine, Mrs. Liebman. (laughs) Mrs. Liebman, I told you. The doctor does not sell gift certificates. I don't know what's wrong with me, Stan. I seem to be stuck in this in this middle age. This is my life. Get used to it. Rut. And I don't like. I don't like. It. I don't like the way it sounds. Yeah. Look. I don't like look. The way it feels. Cats. 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 Listen. Uh, yeah. We both know what you need. Which is. Which is. Which is a little. Uh, oh, you're talking about some. No, 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 no. I mean some serious. Hey, but look, look. Even if I wanted some zavuv, where would I find any? You know what I'm saying? My life. I don't know. Think don't about know. it. I don't know, but. Uh, uh, you must meet a lot of desperate women, right? Stanley, you, you know I'm not allowed to fool around with my patients. You know, I took an oath. An oath? Not an oath. I took an oath. An oath? Oath. See, that was your big mistake. You should never take an oath. Well, it doesn't seem to be a problem for you. Of course not. I mean, uh, women just, you know, they just, uh, they gravitate towards me. I mean, I don't understand. I think yeah. I have a certain kind of uh, magnetism. So you think my problem with women might just be electrical? Yes. Yes, that's possible. I mean, I've done what I can. I mean, I... I've, uh, remember last year I invited you to the uh, I, office party I, I, and please, you had like not... 10, 15 women that you could have chosen from? Yeah, but Stanley, if you introduce me to them as the loneliest guy in the universe... I'm, I'm trying to help you. I'm yeah. trying to help you. you, you well, give, you... Me, give me some, some advice, like something I can, I can use, you know. Uh, uh, even a line, you know, that thing you gave me last year, do I seem feverish? Works. But... You know what it is? Shoes. You need to upgrade your shoes. What are you talking about? It's the first thing that women look at. They look at the shoes? Yeah. But flats is the right move, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to wear heels, but you want something cool. Mm. Women like, um, in addition to shoes, they like uh, smiles. They feel less threatened by a smile, even though a smile is an act of aggression in and of itself, which I'm sure you know. Yeah. Yeah. But they like, if you smile at them, just nice, a nice, warm yeah. smile. I wish I, I don't, you know, you know, I don't smile easily because I'm self-conscious about my, uh, my teeth. You know what works? Uh, just a drop of vinegar on the roof of your mouth to give you a nice big smile for about two, three seconds. Is that right? Oh, but, yeah. But won't they see you applying the vinegar? You turn around. You turn around and wow, it's a, it's a big smile. <laughs> My point is that when I was a kid, we were poor, Mm -hmm. very poor. But my parents never let on. My mother used to make a dish for dinner. Dad, you know how many times that you consisted of one piece of American cheese, two peas for the eyes, a Mm -hmm. cherry tomato for the nose, and a piece of celery celery for the mouth. Mm -hmm. Do you know what she called that? As a matter of fact, I do. She called it clown, Ben, and we loved it. Clown. We looked forward to it. Mm -hmm. Dad. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. What? Can I ask you a question? Yes. Why do these pep talks uh, always have to be so depressing? I don't know. I guess it's my it's my training. Your training. Well, this is this is what I'm hearing you say. I, it seems like you have a hard time maintaining relationships with with men. Well, just my last boyfriend. We were incompatible to say the least. I mean, I'm a night person, and he didn't like me. Mm. And he was married. I don't know if I should mention that. I I was married. A long time ago, I was very I was too young when I got married. I got married right after college. It was terribly messy. The divorce it was so messy because there was a baby involved him. do you think that you deliberately sabotage your relationships? I don't know. 
I just want to meet a sensitive guy. You know, a, a man who will cry when I hit him. No, I would never hit a man if he were sober. Can you validate my parking stub? <laughs> Your what? Well, the valet guy said you'd validate. The, so. the valet guy? We don't have a valet. This is a laundry ticket. What are you saying? I'm saying this is a laundry ticket. I'm saying that you seem to have given someone your car for a laundry ticket. I don't see the humor in that. Well, it's very subtle. Should I talk about my neurosis now? Nothing would make me happier, Ray. Hey, you're faking it. No, I, I mean it. I, I would like to get into that area. That's what, that's what this is all about. The, the big thing is I can't watch the game anymore. The, the holidays... Yeah. The holidays are the hardest time for me with, with sports. I, I don't like that they put football on on Thanksgiving because it just starts fights in my family. The men want to watch the game. The women don't. You know what they do? They compromise the women. They put the TV on without the volume, which never works because then you, you have to pretend like you're paying attention to your family. Dog, oh, Grandma, could you... Uh... Pass me the gravy, please. Would you pa pass it? I'm open. Get rid of it. Pass the gravy. Oh, you suck. So I'm not going to shut up. We should have got rid of her last year. Look at her. She's a loser. I can't watch a game. Oh, Ray, Ray, Ray. What am I going to do with you, laddie boy? Fix me. Oh, man. Hey, Dad, will you pass the, uh, the, the snack things? Oh, yeah. The, the uh, what are they called? Pretzel bits? Uh, pretzelkins. Pretzelkins. Who makes these things? Aren't they good, though? They got, they're filled with, uh, the cheesy thing. Hey, uh, Dad. Uh, yeah. Are you sticking around here tonight? Are you... Well, I thought, you know, we, I rented a movie. I thought maybe we could, um, Yeah, well, actually, and... I, I rented a movie, too, so. Yeah. Uh, well, we can watch them both. You know, why don't... Just sort of get cozy here. Should I get that, that comforter in the... Uh... No, 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 no. Oh, come on, Ben. Well... When was the last time you and I just, just sort of... We're under a comforter? I, I, I don't think cozy is a Come here, snug, snuggle up with your dad for one minute. Dad, here. stop talking like this, because... Who's uh, your snuggle bunny? That's... <laughs> huh? You're making me uncomfortable. I mean, this isn't... This is like... Uh, I thought you were maybe... You should go out. You should actually go... You should what go... What are you saying, Ben? I'm saying I can't see you anymore, Dad, like this. I, I can't... What, are you just going to drop it on me like that? Well, I feel that honesty is the best policy here because... You met someone else, didn't you? Well, I met... <laughs> I actually, I, I was thinking of having a friend over maybe tonight, and I was hoping that, you know, I rented that's a okay. couple of movies, and, and no, that's, I got they're a little... probably movies that you wouldn't like, and uh, so I was thinking that... No, that's all right. I have a little work to do anyway. Really? Yeah. I, I don't mean to be... You know, I mean, I, this is your don't house. Don't worry about it. No, Ben, you do what you... Uh... You and your friends watch movies and enjoy. Well, thanks. You know, I just feel bad because you, yeah. you, you seem to... I think that you, you're, you spend a lot of time here with me mm -hmm. and that uh, you should maybe go meet some people your age, go out okay, and have see. fun. Okay, let me see. Does this mean that we're not going dancing tomorrow? <laughs> You know what frightens me now, actually, Doc, is I'm forgetting things. Forgetting things that aren't normal. Mm -hmm. I forgot my own phone number. I forgot. I was trying to tell this guy my number, and all I can remember was the first three numbers. And then you try to give your brain a, a running start. You know, like, hold on a second. Four, five, seven. Ah! Yeah. Mm. I could see the four, the five, and the seven, and then the rest of the numbers were, like, taunting me and a, and a ring around the rosy and... And other numbers went flashing by on my old high school gym locker. Mm -hmm. I had, then I had this memory lapse. This one really scared me. You're, you're in your shower, and you're daydreaming. I'm daydreaming. Mm -hmm. And then I can't remember if I shampooed my hair. I had to backtrack in my own shower. Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, let's see. I, all right, I got in the shower. Uh, 
I, I, I sang Piano Man. I always sing Piano Man. And then what? You know what I do now, Doc, is I actually bring a checklist into my shower. I just check it off as I go along. All right, I did that. All right, I'll do that next. All right, I'll... Oh, oh not going to have time for that. <laughs> I don't think I have enough soap. I think you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Every man, every man knows what happens in a shower. Oh. Not ashamed of it. We were given the gift and we use it. And I know why we do that more than women. It's obvious. It's, I think God gave man the ability to create these fantasies. It's not our fault. It's entrapment from God. I know women can fantasize, but, oh, they have no idea what men are capable of. We, we have a cast of thousands in there. It's too many. It's too many. There's people in there you don't even want half the time. Mom, security, my mother got in. Who let my mother in? Who let my fat mother here? Oh, that'll, that sends me right to therapy when my mother makes a cameo. Ray, you, you let her in. It's your fantasy. It's my mother's fault. She's, um... Whoops, you know what the music means. Oh. Uh, Our time is up. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> I. Ten. I. Ten. Five.